And these gases were not innocent remakings of atmosphere. They were weaponized atmospheres, directly invented in order to compete for the land that existed beneath the poisonous air. War demanded killing gases, but perhaps no more or less than industry itself, the transformation through energy of one thing or things into other things, the vast production of materials, substances, items, commodities, which sometimes made gas, at times as a product, at other times as a byproduct. In either case, these gases might be lethal. It was the chemical industry that took on for itself the task of making gas, including as chemical weapons. And Walter Benjamin, of whom the husband of whom we've heard today, named the main German company involved in 1931, a conglomerate of chemical companies. And he brings it together in thought with the military, which is not stood down even in times of peace, or should we say, the times between the war. <laughs> 